thanks for joining me. In this video, we're going to talk about a Google service called Google Takeout. Now, the purpose of this service is so that anyone that has data with Google Drive or in their Gmail that they would like to take with them when possibly leaving school to go to college or maybe leaving their job and going off to a new job, they can take that data using Google Takeout, download it, and then upload it into a new Gmail account or Google Drive account. So in this situation for graduating seniors, we're going to talk to you about downloading that data so that after you graduate from high school and you leave Sand Springs, you can take your data with you to college. Any portfolio of work that you've developed over the past year or two using Google Drive, you can take with you. So the first thing that you'll want to do is make sure that you're logged into your Google account for Sand Springs and you're going to go to takeout.google.com slash settings slash takeout. Now you can always just go to Google search and search for Google Takeout and it'll take you to the same place. Once you get there you're going to see a screen like this one. Now in this situation there are lots of different things that are associated with your Google account. What you're going to do is you're going to check the things that you'd like to download in your archive of files. Keep in mind that the number of items that you check in this list is going to increase or affect download time or the size of your file. In most cases, you're probably just going to want to take your drive information, we'll check that one, and any information in your Gmail account that you might have gotten from college recruiters or admissions counselors as you've been applying to college. So I'm just going to check those two options and then I'm going to scroll down and hit next. So in this screen they're going to ask you two different things. One is file type and you'll want to leave it as a zip file because that's the most common file format for an archive of compressed files. We'll leave that. The other is delivery method. Now I can have this download link sent to me via email but what I want to do is I want to add this to my drive so that after they've created it it will add the archive to my drive and I'll also get an email telling me where its location is. So once I'm done I click create archive and it's preparing my file. So what it's going to do when it's finished is it will one send me an email with a link where I can go directly to that archive and two it's going to appear in my Google Drive account. So actually what I'm going to do is first hop over to my Gmail account and see if that email has come in and in my inbox here you'll see that I've got an email saying my data archive is ready so if I open that email then I can click view and drive or I can download this file here. I'm going to go ahead and view this in drive and you can see here's my takeout file. This is a zipped item so it won't actually open it in Google Drive so we will eventually want to download this but we're going to dissect this and kind of take it apart and see what it looks like. Here's our takeout folder and you see we have a couple of different folders here. One is our drive files. Now any drive files that I had will download as Word documents or Excel documents depending on what they were. So when we upload this to a new Google Drive account we're going to want to have those files converted over to a Google Docs format so that they can be used in the future. So this is what it looks like. So let's go ahead and download this file and let's look at what it looks like to upload this into a new Google Drive account. So from my email I'm going to click on the download option, option and it's downloading my file and so I'm going to go to a new Google account and upload these files. So I'm in a new screen now and I'm going to log in to my new account that I've created. So I'll click sign in and I'm going to take a second to do that. So I'm logged in now and before I can actually put these files into my Drive account what I need to do is decompress that zip file. So I'm going to go to my desktop. Here's my zip file. I'm going to right click and I'm going to click extract all and I'm going to tell it where I want to put this. So I'm going to browse for a location and I'm going to put a new folder on my desktop and call it Google Drive and hit OK. 
and then I'm going to tell it to extract these files and so it has done it it's already finished here's my takeout folder and then here are my drive files and so now what I want to do is I want to upload this archive of files into my drive account but like I said when it downloads and puts that archive of documents into the zip folder it converts them all to Word and Excel and PowerPoint formats depending on what your original source file was in Google Drive and so what we want to do is make sure that our new account in Google Drive is set up so that as we upload those files will be converted to a Google Docs format so that we can edit them so I'm going to go into my settings as I've done here click on the convert option and click done and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag and drop those files from this folder into my new drive account and it's going to convert them as it does so so here we go we're uploading and it may take a little while depending on how many files you have this was from just a small sample account that we use so it doesn't take that long to do it here uh, depending on how many files you've created over the past year in your classes it may take a little longer so you want to give yourself plenty of time um, or just walk away and let it do its job and come back later and check on it you can see here it didn't take that long and so here are my files and my folders and I can see everything that's there and I've got all my file folders and my documents in my new account. So that's just a quick rundown of how to use Google Takeout to take your school files with you after you graduate. If you have questions, just send them to me through your English teacher and I'll try to get back to you. Thanks for watching.